Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to configure Ansible on Azure VM. So this video will show you how to install Ansible on a sent OS VM in Azure. So in this video we will create a resource group, we will create a sent OS virtual machine, we will install Ansible on the virtual machine, we will connect to the virtual machine uh, via SSH and we will confer, configure Ansible on the virtual machine. We will also need Azure service principle. So we'll create a service principle making a note of the fall, the values which are app ID, display name, password and the tenant. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal. I'm going to create a resource group. And <clears throat> I will create that in the East US location. So I will do Acer start Ansible East US no tags review create I hit create it will create a resource group which is created I'm going to go to the resource group as a start Ansible and now I will create the Azure VM virtual machine I am going to launch the cloud shell I'm going to change it to bash I'm going to do this I'm going to just paste that command which is simple CLI, easy CLI command to create the VM in assert start Ansible resource group with the name assert start Ansible VM. I'm going to choose the this version of the image. Hit enter. It is running now. The reason was that I, I was entering password as this. So I mentioned the password as password at 12345. And it is creating my VM. I'm going to pause the video and come back. My VM is created. This is the private IP address. This is the public IP address. I'm going to just note it down. All right. I'm back to my portal. I've got the public IP address. Now I'm going to connect it using SSH. SSH Azure user at this is a paste enter yes I'm gonna type in the password I'm logged in now I will install Ansible on the virtual machine. So I will do sudo yum update dash y. It is installing all the updates. Okay, it's taking its time. It will take few more seconds before it completes. Can maximize it. Installing all the updates. Now we will run sudo yum install dash y python 3 dash pip it's installing then I will do sudo pip 3 install upgrade pip 
I'll do pip three install Ansible and I'll specify the version. See downloading Ansible and then it will install it. Running setup.py install for Ansible. It will take a few seconds and then it will install it on my VM. Successfully installed markup safe this file. Then I'll do pip 3, sorry, pip 3 install Ansible Azure. will do this and after that I will run few more commands to configure Ansible on CentOS right so I'll do sudo yum update y then I'll do sudo yum update install y python sudo yum install dash y python 3 dash pip okay sudo pip 3 install upgrade pip 3 perfect then I will do ansible ansible galaxy collection install azure dot az collection and after that I'll do w get I'll just copy it w get then I will install Ansible modules for Azure. I'll do sudo pip3 install requirements dash Azure dot hit enter. All right. So there are some key points. Ansible control node requires Python 2 version or Python 3 version. Ansible 4.0.0 and Ansible Core 2.11 has a soft dependency on Python 3.8, but functions with lower versions. However, Ansible 5.0.0 and Ansible Core 2.12 will require 3.8 and newer, right? So after this, we will create Azure credentials. So I will create an Ansible uh, credentials file. So I will do uh, give me one second. I will do Ansible. I'll do. I'm out of the virtual machine. The connection is closed, right? I should have to connect again. connected again I'm do make dir uh, 
not here. Azure. I'm going to make it under Azure, right? So make Azure it's file. Ex okay, sorry. Tree inside Azure credentials. So I'm just going to open it then. VI. Mm, do this. I opened it. I'll uh, open up the duplicate tab and create a service principle. In Azure AD. Or I'll open a separate cloud shell and I'll create it uh, with the CLI. I'll do AZAD name and simple copy it and I will assign the role. AZ role and create app ID role would be contribute. Okay. And now I'll change uh, subscription ID and everything. Right, so I go here. I'll mm -hmm -hmm. so I'll do subscription ID I'll mention my subscription ID here this is my subscription ID default I'll insert the values and come back this is done. I'm going to save and close the file. Mm. And when you, uh, this is how you install everything and define the Ansible uh, environment variables by adding the subscription ID, client secret, and everything else with all the information for the new SPN that you have registered. And this is how you do it. And then you can run, write and run the Ansible playbooks like we did in the previous video to create or to delete the resource group or any other task. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. Please let me know your queries in the comment section. And in the next video, we will configure Ansible in a Docker container. Thank you. Have a good day.